Hello guys, I'm Herman. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I successfully connected my CNC spindle to Mac 3. So I am able to control the Mac 3, the spindle of my CNC machine directly from Mac 3, as you can see right there. So for this project, I'm going to be using my new CNC controller, which is the Wix. XHC CNC controller from China and I'm going to show you how to do that with the 1.5 kilowatt VFD and my 1.5 kilowatt spindle on my CNC machine right there so to have this working some physical connections needs to be made between the controller and the VFD. So, right here, you see that this is the section allocated for the spindle. You see that we have the forward, we have the digital ground, we have the reverse, we have the PWM pin, we have the 10 volt reference voltage, we have the VI, which is the variable voltage from 0 to 10 volt, and we have the analog ground, which is 0. As you must have noticed, we have two types of ground on this particular controller. We have the digital ground and we have the analog ground. On our VFD, we have two types of ground as well. We have the DCM, which is the digital ground, and we have the ACM, which is the analog ground. So we are going to connect them following that particular procedure. So we have forward goes to forward on the VFD. We have zero here, which is the digital ground, which goes to DCM on the VFD. We have the reverse. This normally is not supposed to be connected, but I connected it to the reverse of the VFD. We have the PWM. This one is non-connect, so we don't connect this one. We have 10 volt in. This 10 volt in takes voltage from the VFD. On the VFD right there, we're going to have a ping level 10 volt so the 10 volt from that vfd comes to this 10 volt in on this controller we have the avi which is the variable voltage from 0 to 10 volt which goes to the vi pin on the vfd so this is the voltage that automatic that controls the speed of the spindle and we have the analog ground the analog ground here in this case is the acm which is the analog ground, which goes to the VFD pin ACM. So after all the connections are made properly, we are going to move now to the settings in the VFD to have this controller control the VFD and the spindle via Mac 3. To make this thing work, we have to make sure that we go into our VFD and reprogram the following settings by entering the code that you can see right there. So, the next thing we have to do in this case is to switch from VR to VI by changing the position of the jumper within the VFD. So, after successfully connecting everything as specified previously in this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate to you how I am able to control my spindle from the computer right now. So, you, as you can see on Mac 3, we have this area allocated just for spindle control. So, we are going to power the spindle from this Mac 3 software right now. As you can see, the spindle just started. We can increase the speed of our spindle directly from Mac 3, and we can also reduce that speed. So, let's um, decrease the speed. I, can, I think you can judge directly from the sound of the spindle right there. So let's increase the speed. So that's the spindle actually rotating over there. So you can see that it's working. So you can see uh, we can also power the spindle off directly from Mac 3. So what we can also do is that we can change the speed directly from here. We can change the speed to 20,000. 
And then we set it up. Then it will go just there. 